So what if I told you guys that aliens are living among us, which I think I told you guys this before. And everything we do in our everyday lives is being monitored. There is a intelligent life form that has invaded Earth. And the high-ranking elites here have been trying to scope out these people, whether they're in governments, whether they're pro-athletes, whether they're just in our everyday society. There are extraterrestrial people living among us who adapt and they kind of, they make themselves look like us. That's why we see a lot of times we see a lot of celebrities on TVs malfunction, politicians malfunctioning. This is happening because there is a group of species, reptilian people and aliens alike, living here on our earth. On our earth, using our resources, using all our stuff, and they're manipulating us. They're taking over positions of power and to the point where they can have complete control over the planet that we live on. Now, for a long time, our government has been working hand in hand with these species, but there are different type of alien species. And this is what people get confused. You always make the assumption that there's only one group of aliens. No, there are different types. And that a lot of them come to Earth. And I told you guys before that there is a another human type species that may not be the exact same as us, but they live on this Earth. Have you guys noticed in a lot of UFO videos that we've seen in the past, there have been UFOs that are going straight into the ocean. Straight into the ocean. It makes you wonder, like, why would a UFO go into the ocean? That's the opposite direction of where they supposedly come from. Usually they come from up, right? And whatever their spacecraft is built out of is not affected by the water going into the water at the speed it does, being able to go deep in the ocean without anything on the ship malfunctioning or um, ship, spacecraft, whatever you call it, want to call it, malfunctioning or messing up to where it implodes. Now, obviously, wherever it comes from, even if it, if it does come from the other side of the ocean, which I think it does, they have resources and things that we don't have where we're at. At the deepest point in the ocean, the deep, the Mariana Trench, the deepest, deepest point. There's an even deeper spot that you can break through. And they've shown this in movies before. They've tried to give us hints. They've shown this in movies before. Um, some high-level scientists and research, researchers have brought this up before in the past. But it always gets brushed under the, the rug because our government and the people in power in our country don't want us to know that there is another life form living right here on our Earth. And that's what we're here to talk about today. A life form beyond what we know. Let's get it. So humans have been here for thousands and thousands of years. We've been on this planet. And a lot of people have been making arguments that this isn't our original home planet. And that we destroyed our original home planet. And we ran here as a secondary home, which you had already had scoped out years before whatever happened happened. In which we're going on the same direction. Just how we're doing Mars right now. Just in case something goes wrong with Earth, we have been scoping out Mars and trying to colonize, finding ways to colonize Mars. And have been doing so for a very long time. So it starts to make you wonder. Everything starts to make sense when you really think about it. But let's keep on moving forward. The pyramids. We still can't figure out how the pyramids were built. We can't. And how perfectly aligned it is with everything. And there's so many different things that we have no explanation for because we don't know how it was created. Well, there's an argument that we are a sixth generation of humans. And there's always a great reset. Always a great reset. And that word great reset sounds very familiar, which I know it does. That's exactly why I said it. Humanity has reset several times and we are in the sixth reset. We are living the life. Of the sixth generation of humans how did we uh, go extinct before i cannot answer that i couldn't tell you but i'm pretty sure it probably had something to do with war or going against the gods whatever it was it was not good now could it have been something like we got invaded by a an alien species and we were the alien species i don't know 
But there's so many different things that can happen. People talk about dinosaurs all the time. They talk about all these different things, but they don't talk about how we are a sixth generation of humans, how there are aliens living right here on our planet. The ocean is a very mysterious place. And if you guys think about it, NASA originally started off as a company that explored the ocean, trying to learn and figure out the ocean. And then something scared NASA and changed their direction from going from ocean to space. What could have made that shift? What could have made that change? Now, a lot of people say, well, the Kraken. Kraken is a big, huge octopus-like creature over 100 feet in length that had been destroying ships and things from ancient times, even down to the Vikings that talked about this Kraken, how it destroyed their ships and ate some of the men. Huge creature. Huge. A lot of people felt like NASA came across this huge barbaric creature in the ocean and it scared these researchers and scientists so bad too where they shifted to space because they felt like space was much safer and much more open than being in the ocean where ocean is a very scary place to be at. It is. So NASA shifted its attention away from the earth and into space. Now, in the past, a lot of UFO videos have showed alien UFO crafts going into the ocean. And I believe they also come from the ocean. Not saying that there are species that are coming from other places, but we have species right here on Earth. And that's why we're able to study some of their, their study some of their spacecraft and reverse engineer it because they're way more advanced than we are. But a lot of this stuff is not just too far off of advanced. It's close enough so that we can research it and we can learn it. Because if they're 50,000 years more advanced than we are, how are we able to comprehend what they have going on? It's not that. We just have an understanding because they're here from this planet. We wouldn't be able to understand something from a different solar system. And these aliens that do come from our, our planet, and even the ones that come from the ocean, they found a way to bend through time and dimensions to make it to where we are. The ones through the ocean have found a way around the pressure down there. And I can guarantee even at our deepest point, when you get through, there's a whole civilization of beings that are very advanced and who live in the water. If you think about it, the deeper you get in the ocean, the more alien-like these creatures look that are lurking in the oceans. It's scary, but if you think about it, these creatures do not look human. You look at some of these jellyfish, some of the things that are living in the deepest parts of the ocean, it amazes us at how they're able to survive and live down there, and they do not look normal. Most of them you can see through their bodies, and a lot of them resemble aliens that we have seen like the aliens that we have in movies and everything look just like these jellyfish and these, these real looking uh, fish that are at the bottom of the ocean. Not only that, there are huge creatures down there that whether you like it or not, NASA won't talk about outside the Kraken that are living deep, deep in the ocean that are bigger than blue whales. They don't tell you about that. You guys don't wonder sometimes how these huge blue whales come washed up on the ocean. I ain't talking about being attacked by no orca. They'll come washed up, torn apart, looking like that they were eaten by something much bigger than itself. Ocean is a vast, crazy place. Crazy place. But the creatures that are lurking down there and the alien life forms that are, are, that are lurking at the bottom of our ocean is a very serious matter. And the study of the ocean needs to be done more often. We only know 5% of our ocean, which is probably less than that. That's just a rough estimate. I don't think it's anywhere near that. They don't talk about the creatures that are in the Arctic Ocean. You don't never hear about anything going on with the Arctic waters and them researching deep, deep in the Arctic waters. The Arctic waters holds a lot of secrets. And I've been saying this for a while. The Arctic is another place where these these other human type creatures, intelligent creatures that live on Earth come from. There is a portal. There is a gateway right in Antarctica that they don't want you guys to know about. Some of these icebergs are rigged up 
to open to massive doors for these things to come out. Why do you think Antarctica has been off limits for years? Why do you think every country agrees on Antarctica? Two things every country in the world agrees on, especially every power, powerhouse country. Antarctica and space. Those are things that each country has come to agreement on because the world governments know exactly what's truly out there and what we're truly up against. They know what lurks in the depths of these waters, especially in the Arctic. I'm pretty sure that you haven't heard about some of the stories of what's going on in the Arctic Ocean. But there are some crazy things out there in the Arctic that they just don't want us to know about. It gets very scary. It gets worse than this. But it's about you. And are you willing to put your foot down and find out what's going on down there? Find out if they're really aliens living among us, are coming from the human forms and, and jumping in a position of powers? Are they taking over some of our human bodies and controlling us? And we have no knowledge of it. There are some things we just cannot explain. Still can't explain why we have dreams. There is some serious living creatures that have invaded Earth. Aliens, aliens have been everywhere. Could this be because our government is scared now that they know these people are among our population big time in big numbers and they're trying to prepare us for it, slowly prepare us for what's going to happen? Or could this be the aliens taking over positions of powers and they're trying to let the world know because they maybe they want us to work together. This is going to end one way that maybe we could have prevented. I don't think it's going to be a happy ending. What I would like to see is more research at the bottom of the ocean, discovering these creatures that have been relaxing in and these UFOs that have been going into the wars. I really want to know what's down there. Is there really a kraken? Is there a huge octopus-like creature that may cause a, 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 a chaos if we knew about it? Imagine you being on a ship and you see this huge 100-foot long octopus-like creature. Guys, it's the ocean aliens. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is part one. Get ready for